Welcome to another vlog. As you can tell by the title, this is going to be my getting ready to leave the country vlog. We are going back to St. Tropez. I'm so excited, you guys. Um, I leave, I'll be leaving the day after Labor Day. So, like in a week. Um, so, yeah, it's basically just going to be prepping for that. You guys know we're doing all the maintenance. We're doing nails, we're doing toes, we're doing brows, we're doing hair, we're doing lashes. Um, I'm considering doing my little laser lipo treatments. We'll see. Um, I also feel like I have, like, so much to tell you guys. Um, and I thought about maybe putting this in a separate vlog, like a health journey, um, lifestyle change, weight loss type of vlog. I don't know, but I'm sure you'll hear me like mention it um, in this vlog as well. But that is what this vlog is. We are literally getting our life together. Um, I'll do like a pack with me. I'm gonna show you some of the outfits I have because TBH, um, we booked this trip in June. Is that right? Yeah, we booked it in June. And I had, I think like two of my outfits already. And then um, you guys saw one of my outfits. It was that Dior short set in my pre-birthday haul. Um, but I've literally like had all of my outfits like months before this trip. Um, so I actually have everything. I did a fashion over order last week, the week before last, and it came on Wednesday and everything looks really amazing. So I'm super excited. Um, we are going to La Opera. We're going to the Louis Vuitton restaurant. Um, we're going on like this beach excursion on a boat. So we have a lot of amazing things planned. I'm super, super excited. I haven't been out of the country in, has it been two years? I think it's just been, no, it's been two years. The last time I was out of the country is when I went to Amalfi for my birthday, not last year, but the year before last. So it's due time, honey. Um, so I'm so excited. So like I said, I have all of my like outfits and clothes and all that stuff. So it's just the maintenance um, and all my stuff is laid out, of course. So it'll be really easy to pack. So we just have to do maintenance. So I'm here at Katie Mills. That's where we are right now. I have to get a few things. Um, one of my outfits is quite showy. And it's one of those ones where you can't wear like regular undies. So I'm gonna try to see if I, there's a store in here um, that a friend of mine was telling me about. Um, she's actually going on the trip with me, Mercedes. Shout out to Mercedes, you guys will see her. She's been in a few of my vlogs, but she told me about a store in here. Um, I need to get some panties with the clear strap and I also need to get like a white tube top. That's literally all I'm missing. Um, I have a list, but I think that's the only two things I need from here. So, happy Sunday. Today is Sunday the 27th. My trip is on, we leave on Tuesday, September 5th. So yeah, let's go you guys and welcome to the vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. You guys, if you don't already, follow me on Instagram. We'll pop it right here at Brie Car Amore, all one word, all spelled out. And also hit that little bell so you get notified every single time I post a new video. You guys, I don't think I've ever done like a full YouTube intro for a vlog, but look at me. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay, super excited to be working with VBT Lift, you guys. So this is what the little package looks like and how cute is this? Okay, you guys. It might be like the blind leading the blind here because I've actually never used boob tape before. Um, I usually just kind of, you know, whatever happens, happens. However it looks, it looks. Um, but I will say there are quite a few outfits that when I think about in the past, boob tape would have been really great. You know, it would have. <sighs> Not saying that the, <laughs> the shirts were inappropriate, but it definitely would have made things look a little nicer a bit more presentable and we'll just leave it at that so yes today's sponsor is bbt lift you guys let's see here well designed and suitable for all different lady shapes breathable provides long lasting support 95 percent cotton and five percent spandex breathable nipple covers with 18 air holes superior quality multi-use perfect for backless strapless dresses t-shirts halter tops wedding gowns sports bras and swimsuits but okay let's see how to do this got some scissors we're gonna need those 
opened the package, so here is what you get in the box. You guys know I'm a sucker for cute packaging. VVT Lift, follow us to learn more. Cute. Ooh, there's a manual. We're definitely gonna need this. Okay, and then it comes with, let's see here. There's a black one, there's a nude one, and then, so those are the two. And then these are, ooh, double-sided tape in there. And then let's see what this one is. Get beauty, get freedom. Oh, we can actually use these right now. They are nipple covers. Ooh, so they've got the silicone ones and then they've also got fabric ones. How cute. Wishing you peace and happiness. We love that. That's what the silicone ones look like. Okay, so I'm gonna pop these in first since I already have on a tank top that, you know, you know. Okay, so this is what they look like. Silicone, just a good neutral color. So we're actually gonna pop them right in. So you guys saw the before, now you can see the after. And I'm gonna scoop back because obviously real life light would not be this bright. So, there you go. Instantly more appropriate. Okay, so we've got it out of the package. This is the black one. Obviously, I want a black top. That's what we're gonna use. So you can kind of see, obviously, there's no type of support, coverage, nothing with this top. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. It's got lines here. On the back so you can know where you're cutting if you want to cut in like a perfect shape um, and it is adhesive so I think we're gonna do we'll start with let me see because I think I want it to come up there and then maybe I'll do one here let's start with this one so I'll do that much I think will be good handy dandy scissors so now let's see all right, let's try it. Okay, we've got the camera high, so we don't show anything we shouldn't. So we're just gonna peel, peel right off. Guess I should have taken my shirt off first. Okay, so I think we're gonna do, put you here at the bottom. I want it all the way at the bottom for max support. And then we're just gonna, ooh, okay, okay. So let me see make sure that's covered what it looks like okay you guys look at this so what I did is I stuck here lifted and stuck there um, now I will say I cut this one a little bit too long you can kind of see it peeking out right there so I did this one shorter and it looks amazing I also lifted this a bit higher so it is adhesive and it is you can still adjust and then we'll just smooth it down and then I'll kind of show you how it looks now and look at this like instant cleavage we have going on. Hi, my neighbor's dog. Okay, yes, love this. Okay, so this is the next top. Super cute, but as you can see again, I mean, it's like a, like a bralette top. So the girls are doing what the girls wanna do naturally. I'm kind of going for this. Ooh, instant alteration. So let's see if we can get it to go like that. So I'm gonna put it down here but then I want to lift it all the way up. So I actually think I'm going to get a little fancy and cut it in. Ooh, that's nice. It's kind of already pre-measured. I'm going to cut it in like a kind of a triangle at the top. So it's going to start down here and then I want it to lift all the way up. So I think I'm going to make it angled right there. I feel like Kim K guys, I think she always used to do this like back before skims. So here, Ooh, okay, I think we're onto something. Let's see. All right, we're getting real up close and personal together, you guys. Okay, so we're gonna unpeel it. Good thing my skin is flourishing and I just got my hair and lashes done, so you guys can just really look at me in all my glory. So, coming off, this fabric is kind of amazing. All right, so I wanna put it at the very bottom of the boob. I'm gonna lift it because I want it to be pretty high because I'm trying to I'm trying to achieve maximum effect. Okay, so this is how I have it right now. But okay, so you can see that covers. Okay, <laughs> are you kidding me? I continue to be amazed. So this is the other side. 
and like <laughs> this is kind of crazy this is boob tape this is no boob tape and we want the other girl to go just like that this is kind of crazy like i am amazed i'm really impressed okay let's do the other one okay so i did the same little triangle shape so let's put her in okay you guys this is amateur like when i tell you i've never used boob tape before and look at this instant cleavage it literally did just what i wanted to do how cool okay this is amazing i've just discovered this so i apologize if my reactions are like oh my gosh because where have i been all my life hey <laughs> okay so you guys final product we're obsessed another huge shout out to bbt lift for sponsoring today's video you guys um i will be taking this these products with me to saint tropez um as i mentioned previously if i didn't i'll say it here one of the outfits that i'm wearing to this very fancy dinner it's like this kind of scandalous supper club it's actually the restaurant that bizu here in houston was based off of um and if you're local you know what i mean so you know the, it's a little bit more scantily clad and the outfit is literally full of these little silver discs and that's it. So definitely gonna be using the nipple covers and the double-sided tape, all of those things. Um, but yeah, you guys, super shout out to BBT Lift for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to follow them, go to their website, check them out, you guys. I'll put all the details and the good stuff down in the description box below, as well as my discount code so you can save money, so you can buy more luxurious stuff and go on trips. But yeah, let's get back into the video. Okay, so really quickly, I'm just going to show you guys how super easy it is to remove your boob tape. So it is me, obviously, from the future because we've got different hair. Um, I just came back from an outing where I actually wore this top and I wore my tape. Um, I was out for a couple of hours, so now I'm just going to show you guys how to remove the tape. So there are two ways to remove your boob tape. You can either use warm water or you can use baby oil, which I'm going to use right now. So literally all I'm doing is putting some baby oil on a paper towel. You can also use um, a cloth or um, like a towel towel if you like. And then I'm just going to hold it over the tape. Um, and I held mine for, I think about two to three minutes. I think it takes a little longer if you use warm water, but, um, I was able to hold mine for just, I'd say three to four minutes. And then I was just able to peel it right off. Um, it doesn't leave behind a sticky residue. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't tug at your skin. The baby oil kind of breaks down, um, the, the glue and you can just pull it right off. I really hope I remember where I parked you guys. Okay, so the mall has definitely been a bunk mission. Um, I already have Heather Gray sweatpants, but I don't know if I love them. I got them from Fashion Nova. So I'm in Route 21. This is literally my one, two, three, fourth store, and I finally found a tube top. I don't really love the material, but we're gonna try it on anyway. Okay, so I know this is a bad angle, but this is my vision for the airport. Um, just Heather Gray sweatpants because I'm doing my pink Chanel DeVille toe that I got. Um, and then a crop, although I like my crops a little bit more cropped. So I was thinking like maybe like that. Okay, I know this angle is bad and I realize you guys are crooked, but so this is what it looks like. You can see the front and the back. They've got these pockets, which are cute. And then I would do a better job at rolling it up. view of nails and toes at first i was like i don't really like the color but i think i like it you guys know i'm just a creature of habit okay this is what our luggage is looking like so far still not done i still have a crap ton of stuff that needs to go in this is for aesthetic purposes only 
So we've got everything in dust bags. Um, this Balenciaga bag, that's Balenciaga. That's my hourglass bag. It's actually going in my airplane bag because I want to carry it on with me. Um, I don't want to pack it. And then my Versace robe, which just this was just for pictures. I'm obviously going to fold it up smaller than that. So we're making some type of progress. Okay, we're here getting our lashes done. I have on actual clothes today. I don't know if you can hear me. I feel like I kind of look like Dora the Explorer with this haircut, I'm not gonna lie. I cut it a little shorter. I don't know. What is it giving? I know it's giving skinny. It's giving thin. Not my hair, but me. But anyways, we're going up to get our lashes done. I feel like this has been a hot mess of a vlog, so we'll see how much makes it. They still have their Barbie set up. It's so pretty in here, by the way, you guys. If you're in Houston, this is Glam House Salon and Spa. It's so cute. How pretty is this? Okay, I feel like this is a better angle for the hair and also I think I'm gonna comb my little piece out so I can have it like more in the front anyways we're gonna stop talking about it it looks cute she did an amazing job per usual um, my lashes look I think I'm just having one of those days where you don't like anything so we're gonna leave it at that I need to drink some more water I'm dehydrated baby dehydrated we had a time last night um, I did not record Forward. Maybe I did record a few things with baby. Let me show you. Where is that girl? These. Okay. Do you see that? Do you see this? This is barbecue sauce. A time was had. This is why you don't wear your cute, nice stuff to like a club club. Girl, a whole time was had. My hair was soaking wet. Like it was... Okay, so, oh, you guys, maintenance is officially done. I feel like my face looks really fat today. Anyways, maintenance is officially done for our trip. Our hair is cut. Our lashes are done. Our nails are done. Our toes are done. Um, we've been steaming our skin. We've lost 15 pounds. Like, I'd say it was a success. Um, I did pre-pack. Oh, I got my order for my little two-piece short sweat, what's it called? Short suit? Sweat short suit that I'm going to wear to the airport on Tuesday. I tried it on really quick because, um, they just dropped it off right before I was leaving for my lash appointment and it looks so cute. It's like exactly what I wanted. So I'm excited about that. Um, I hand washed my dress yesterday and hung that up to lie and dry. I actually just took it down. Um, because it's dry and I think we're ready to pack you guys hey so good morning happy Monday you guys it is Labor Day it is officially the day before my trip I'm super super excited um, I'm in my beauty room as you can see let's just make sure there's nothing new in the background um, I just finished packing so I did switch suitcases I was gonna bring my Dior suitcase but it turns out I had too much stuff and I don't want it to get damaged um, when it's checked and all that stuff because you know they just be throwing your luggage around so um, I'm liking my hair more it flattened out obviously because I slept on it and I had my headscarf on um, my lashes I still feel like this side is not as full as the other one but whatever I am in better spirits I said a really good prayer this morning so thank you Jesus for that but I have a lot of stuff to do today um, I actually have a little bit of work today. I know it's Labor Day <laughs> and there is no work, but I actually have some work to finish up um, just for the week since I will not be there. Okay, so suitcase is packed. Um, this is a hard case suitcase. Um, I had a, it was a friend of mine actually that bought this for me. So this is the one that I'm taking. It's a lot bigger than my Dior suitcase, um, but like I said, I ended up having a lot more stuff than I thought I was going to have. Okay, so like I said, I have a whole host of things to do today before my trip. I have my handy dandy to do list on my iPad. So let me see. I, well, I basically cleaned up in here because it was in shambles. So we can check that one off. Um, I have something to film today, a part of a haul because I have to film it early because two of the items I'm taking with me on vacation and I'm sure 
they're not going to look as new as they did after I come back. So I'm going to pre-film. Um, I have a collab to film today. Some cleaning stuff. I need to clean my kitchen. Pack my final big suitcase and bring downstairs. That's done. I just have to take it down. Pack casual clothes and sandals. That's done. And then I need to double check my airport bag. Like I said, I have some work to do. So I'm going to head into my office in a second and finish that up. But then we'll be ready. Um, it's 9.22 in the morning. I was done praying and up by like 8 a.m. this morning. I'm getting very excited. I know you can't tell from my face, but I am excited. Okay, so airport bag. Um, all right, first thing is my Dior visor, the one that I got in Saint-Tropez, so it'll be nice to bring it back. And it says Dior Saint-Tropez in the back. So I'm carrying this on. Um, it came in a box, but I obviously was not gonna put a box in my suitcase, so I'm just gonna carry it on. Then we've got my Louis Vuitton toiletries pouch. Um, so this actually needs to be changed, but deodorant. Oh, never mind. Here's the new deodorant. I'm just so prepared. Um, we have a mini toothpaste um, because it is gonna be an overnight flight um, and it's a nine hour flight um because we're actually taking three planes don't ask me why i planned it that way i don't know what i was thinking back in june when i booked it but that's okay little mirror this is the broken hourglass mirror this is a sunscreen spray that i really like it's by yours it's called sunny side up sunscreen mist um that'll be convenient for me another little toothpaste which actually we will take out um our meds very important so i actually have my meds um and my vitamins in here, so that's important. Um, a powder brush, a mask that I've never used, a Sephora mask that I'm gonna do on the plane. This is the Rose Face Mask. Um, we've got a couple of makeup removing wipes in here. This lip balm that I got from the farmer's market a while ago with Bianca. Um, this is a local Houston owned business. I've got a couple of lip products in here. Um, this is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Eye Cream. And then of course I've got some hand sanitizer. This is by Truly Beauty, the label is gone. Um, an ink pen, my Clinique face wash. Um, this is the liquid facial soap oily skin formula. I normally don't use this, but I've used it before and I know it's gonna be fine, it'll work. Um, Clinique Moisture Surge, this is the hydrating supercharged concentrate. All of this is for like on the plane skincare. Another makeup removing wipe. Um, why do I have a little NARS blush in here? Well, a mini NARS orgasm blush, even though we know I don't wear makeup, and a NARS pencil sharpener, that's important. The most important thing, my eyelash spoolie, and then an adapter. This is a smaller one. And it's good that I'm doing this with you guys because this was one of the things on my list was to do a final check for my airport bag. So, um, hairbrush. So now getting into what's in the big part here, new toothbrush. Um, and this is what's in the side pouch part here. Um, fresh deodorant. This is the little jewelry pouch that I've got my jewelry in. Um, this is actually from Italo, Italo Jewelry. Um, so that's where I'll put my jewelry. I'm only bringing two pairs of earrings, like we're not gonna be extra. And then I've got all my tech stuff. So <laughs> I've got my iPhone and iPad charger. These are my iPhone headphones. And then I also have my iPad headphones because it's a different charger port. And then two more adapters. <laughs> When I tell you guys I'm literally like the most prepared girl when it comes to travel, like I pride myself on that. It's just lovely. I'll show you what's in the side pocket here. So these are a pair of new Balenciaga sunglasses that I have not unboxed yet, so just pretend you didn't see them. A girl, sorry, Bottega. They're Bottega. They're really cute. Um, those were actually gifted to me. And then my Louis Vuitton, these are old sunglasses that I've had. These are the Hortensia sunglasses. Hortense or Hortensia, um, but this is what they look like. I've had these since I was in college, you guys. That was, it was a while ago. 
<laughs> I don't want to say it was a super long time ago and you guys will think I'm old. Uh, nipple covers. This is important because one of the outfits that I'm wearing is a bit scandalous. Um, and then the only other thing that's in here is my um, Balenciaga hourglass bag, which I said that I was going to carry that on just because I obviously don't want to check it. It's so pretty. Um, yeah, I just don't want to risk it. So we're going to keep it on my body. Okay, so then the last two things that are in here, there's pouches here, but there's nothing in there. Um, at the bottom is my Chanel dust bag for this bag because when it's time to go through security, I'm going to lay the dust bag underneath it um, just so it doesn't get dirty. I'm a little nervous about the light pink canvas. Like I planned my whole airport outfit around this color. So yeah. And then the last thing is the little pouch that comes with it. And I've just got my passport in here because I'm actually not taking, I usually take my Louis Vuitton wallet when I travel internationally or really, I guess when I travel period, but I'm not taking it this time. I just was like, it's just not necessary. Um, and I didn't want to be carrying it around the whole time. So I'm bringing just my little key clay with like my car key and, oh, why is this seeming like it's not gonna fit? With my car key and my house key and all that good stuff on it, um, and it'll have my credit cards in there, so I'm just gonna use that. It'll be better suited for like walking around and when we're doing excursions and stuff, as opposed to having to bring that big old Louis Vuitton wallet. Okay, and then the last thing that's gonna go here is my iPad. This is my new one, which, what is on here? I'm finally using, okay, it died because I turned it on the other day but it just sat there. So new iPad, it's the hot pink iPad. I'm parting ways with my rose gold iPad. Um, Mercedes is actually gonna take it. I'm kind of sad. I literally feel like, because I love that iPad, I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna buy another one in the rose gold because the rose gold matches my, it matches my office, you guys. So we'll see how that fares in the new house. Um, hopefully I can, so yeah, I'm gonna end up having two iPads because I'm gonna rebuy that one, so. So, she is packed and ready. Okay, so I just finished filming what I had to film, you guys. Um, so yeah, it is 11.58. It's time for me to have my first meal of the day. I think I'm gonna have a smoothie. I actually haven't decided yet, but yes. Okay, how pretty is it out? Ignore my dying grass. There's a patch of green right there. Do y'all see this? I have this little YouTube thing with the jazz and the fireplace and the rain in the background, but I can turn it off now because I have the real rain. And not after 73 years of no rain in Houston, but hopefully it'll bring my dead grass back to life. Okay, we are all ready to go officially. I'm dressed. Bags are packed. I'm waiting for my Uber. It's hella early. I think it's like 6.15, but here we go.